So we do need the passport. Hello, un, un momento. <laughs> un momento, por favor. <laughs> I just, I just get our passport. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Welcome to Tangier! <laughs> Woo! Yes! Oh my god, guys, I want to show you our view. Look at that! And something much better even. Look, we have baby birds. This one is sleeping. Good morning. We missed our tent so much that we built up the tent even in the hotel room. We have hit the Atlantic coast, but it's a very misty day, so we can't see very far out. <laughs> but it's a beautiful area here, just outside of Tangier, down by the coast. Look at this. That's stunning. It is stunning. Look at this. Some fried eggs and some bread. And I saw the oven, actually. It's, it's like a wood-burning oven, like really traditional. So. It's gonna be really, really nice. Look at that. Whoa. Looks good. A couple of miles now from Moulay Busselham. So, yeah, not too far to go. And then we'll see about uh, some campsites in town that we've seen on the map. Okay. Whoopa. So, we're looking for a place called Camping Atlantis is a local campsite here I just maybe just wait for this truck yeah <laughs> so it's to the right very soon open up okay so to the to, right to the right <laughs> here and then here to the, the left don't even know if the place exists actually Okay, some sand. It's apparently just here. No, I no. think this is not a place. No. Nope. Okay. No. okay, maybe jump off so I can turn around. Yep. My balance is not great because my feet don't have a lot of... Okay. 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 It's okay. Yeah, it's okay behind. Okay, I'm just gonna straighten up a little bit. And then, I think it's okay for you just up here. Whew. A little big technical road. Bonjour, oui, Bonjour. ça va? Ça va? Uh, le, le camping s'est fermé. Fermé? Oui. Oh. Oui. Complete fermé. Oh, okay. uh, C'est un autre camping uh, dans, dans la ville. It is two camping. Yes. The two boats closed. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this camping is closed as well. I can see some motor homes and caravan signs and a little restaurant cooperative. Salam. 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 Um, J'ai une tente. Oui, oui, oui. C'est possible camping. Okay. Uh, le prix? Le prix 50 dirham. Okay, merci. Look, we have the whole park for ourselves. And there's a little little cafe. The guy seems super friendly. So we'll just uh, pitch up our tent, you know, get organized and just relax. It's beautiful. You wouldn't believe it. But there's a party going on next door. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> some people from the party came and gave us some little cakes and also some really sweet juice, which is in like this nice unicorn pony cup. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's alive. It's alive now. Okay. Whoa, look at that. Lavi's gonna 
put the turtle over there under the tree in that little garden area. Yeah, I think this looks like a good area for him. <laughs> Some sheepies on the side of the road. Yeah, the landscape starts to change. We can see some hills. Yeah, it's gonna get more and more mountainous, I think, as we go along, as we get more and more down towards Fez. Look, here's a tagine. Massive amount of uh, pottery. Look at that. Wow. Ça va? Tu habites ici? Oui. Oui, là-bas? Oui. Ouais, 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 ouais. Au revoir. Ah, okay. All right, we're going. Well, I think once we go up through here, we'll be heading into the older part of Fez. Wow. There we go. <laughs> Made not, it through the gate. Not bad. Oh, it's, I'm sweaty. Oh, here we go. Look how narrow these streets are. That's definitely the best part for me anyway, because I love nice views. Just leaving the city of Fez. Gonna hit the road 56 miles to the Ifran National Park. So first we just gotta get out of get out of Fez, get back out into the countryside, and then it should be plain sailing. I can't wait to see some more Moroccan wildlife. We've done yes. tortoises, we've done camels, and now it's time to find some macaques. Looks like we entered the forest. Ooh. So keep your eyes peeled for macaques. <laughs> oh, look, there's already one, and two, and three. Aha. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh, it's a monkey. So no. Good luck, but a monkey just on our bike. Look at that. Oh no, what a mess. Oh no. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Hello boys and girls, good morning to everyone. How did you all sleep? <laughs> Epic! This is a mad landscape. Yes! And there's like a little stream running down the middle here. Oh, wow. And some crazy rock formations. Whoa, look at this. Oh, wow. Look at the amount of hay bales this person has on his truck. I mean, that is, that's not normal. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is ridiculous. Salam. Salam. C'est ouvré. C'est ouvré. Oh, okay. cool. Okay. Bien. <laughs> nice. Look at this place. Camping. Reception parking. Okay. Cool. Look at the location of this place. Look where we are. This is unbelievable. You've got these massive, crazy cliffs on literally all sides. It's a really special and unique place here. It's incredible. Look at the design of this place. It's called a Caspar. Look at the walls. So literally made from mud and straw. Breakfast. <laughs> this is like our first hotel breakfast, so we are really high class people now. Whoa! <gasps> what a oasis! Wow, we were just in the massive flat plains of the desert, like just going along, 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 like okay, it just looks flat here all the way, and then boom, we come down into this massive gorge. <laughs> and it's just Boom. full of Green. date palms. Look how many date palms there are. It's incredible. Wow, thank you. Wow, Ibrahim here, he, he just gave us some ammonites. Look at that, and it's like one thing, look. Wow. In the desert snow! <laughs> wow! What the hell? Look at this! I think this is Merzuga, the town in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by dunes. The most incredible town ever. I mean, of all the unique towns that we've been so far, I mean, this has to be one of the most unique. This is absolutely crazy here. And what a day to arrive with just all this sand everywhere. Whoa, look up ahead. Wow, that is unique. I can't believe we've driven all the way from England to the Saharan sand dunes. <laughs> I mean, that's insane. Or oh, oh, riding on sand here? I mean, we're following a quad bike. This guy can go up dunes and he's like, follow me on my quad bike. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. Insane. He literally followed us down the road. He <laughs> saw us on the road and followed us and stole us from the accommodation. Yes, like did. right right in front of the owner. And then I yeah. just said to the owner, well, this guy's a businessman, you know, what can we do?
look at where we are and what your name Yusuf. Yusuf. Welcome. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Yusuf. Whoa, the desert. Okay, nice and easy. Nice and slow. Nice and easy. Nice and slow. Nice and easy. Oh, that traction by Dunlop is great. No problems. <laughs> Oh yes! Look at that! Perfect! Yes! Woo. What a place! Welcome to Morocco! Woo woo! Climbing to the top of the biggest dune to get the view. <laughs> the sun is just rising and we're just going to get up, up to here. Made it to the top of the Grand Dune Mazuga. Look at that. This is town as you go over there This all looks like stones, but actually, this is all camel poop. <laughs> Look, there's a bit of camel poop. Okay, got to get around this sandy corner. Oh, oh that's a bit deep. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, sandy start to the morning. Look, there's some camels right in front. <laughs> That's cute. Nice. Look, That's camels. Awesome. That's awesome. Camels. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> this area is just absolutely unique and stunning, hey? Yeah, it is. Oh, God. In the desert! Whee! <laughs> We just hit a bit of sand, it was like blown onto the road. Okay. Here we go. Whew. Oh yeah, there we go. Whew. We have to be quite careful on this highway uh, for blown sand, so we'll go a little bit slower 
and just be careful about that. <laughs> Okay, that's a little bit scary. Look at that. Wow. Wow. It looks like it, it will fall like in no time. And there's like no protection on the edge of the road. Whoa, look wow. at this gap. Wow. Oh my God. Is this even a road? This is insane. An absolutely awesome place to stop. Incredible. <laughs> nice. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> See what's going on. What can you buy at the market in the mountains? You can buy. Hello. You can buy a, a horse or a donkey. Oh my god, look. It's a cow head. What a location for a market, eh? Nice. Better get back to Lavi. Make sure she's all, all right. Good luck and good travel. Thank you. Do you want to explain what happened? <laughs> I wanted to uh, just pull off to the side, maybe stick a picture or something. And Bumblebee has a nap. We need to pick up the tank bag because the bike is nearly upside down. Yeah. Wait a second, wait. No, I have to. Let's do the monkey technique. Oh, yeah. You're hanging on the side. Oh, good. Standing. Salam. Salam. Super 50 dirham. Super gazwalan. Super. 50, yeah. Okay. Thank. Shukran. First time, yes. Yeah, very beautiful. <gasps> very. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> oh, you're fast! You're faster than us! <laughs> Here we go! It's a bit of a race now, and these cyclists are pretty good. <laughs> Whoa. Faster, faster, faster! Oh, rapid! <laughs> yeah, get out the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this this road is like half under construction and look at the the loose gravel here. Yeah, yeah, I will. It's okay. It's okay, I just go nice and easy. Oh no, sweetheart, there's a truck in front just dropping gravel. Oh, oh no. I need to see how far this is. Oh, Jesus. Um. Not too easy, eh? Oh, I don't know what to do. I really hope there's no more of that to come. So we just got past that bit of gravel and now there's a whole lot of gravel in front. So here's the road. Oh my God. 
Wow, this road never gives up, eh? It's a real challenge. Okay, these guys are walking on the road. <laughs> oh. Hey, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. 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 Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All these goats. Uh, Sama. <laughs> should we wait? I think, uh, what should we do? Don't know. They seem to just be going and going. <laughs> the goats, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me with the goats. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I really don't know how we are going to pass these goats. I don't know. I, I, don't, I really don't. I mean, we're like taking the goats away from the herder. Oh no. I really don't know what to do. They're not leaving the road. Should we just, um, don't know. Don't know what we're supposed to do. Should we wait? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice and easy, nice and slow. Concentrate on the right. Yep, perfect. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Yeah, nice and easy, nice and slow. Yeah. This is uh, definitely the most insane road I've ever driven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you that you did this part, sweetheart. Oh, God. I'm very proud of you. I just don't like it when you can't see across the cliff, you see? I know, I know. Oh, oh, wait. Oh. I think that's not good. The chain. Not good. No. Not good. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. Yep. Stupid v strom mud guard. Oh. Okay, that's not the end of the world. The v strom mud guard, I don't mind that. We just need to undo this, and then I'm just gonna try to rip it out. Okay. So the chain guard broke here, and then it went into our reel, and I don't think that any harm is happening, hopefully. Stupid chain guard! <laughs> wow, it's a good thing oh. that didn't cause any more damage inside. Everything else looks good. We just pack this on the back and then we should be able to continue. So we're just stopping for a little rest and the school just finished. <laughs> we're trying to communicate with them. <laughs> Ahmad! 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 Sorry, sweetheart. Because I was surprised by the gravel straight away, and then boom! Oh my god, that was a long, long road of gravel. Ah, uh, man, that was crazy. It so was crazy. We're going to see about this place, Le yeah. Valle de Nomad Camping. We're going to see about this place because we can't go any further today. I think we are finished for today. Salam. Oui, ça va? On est en tente. Tu as camping. C'est la place là. Ah, like camping dans la terrasse. Epic! Wow, look at that! Yeah, look, we're just right in between the cliffs. <gasps> oh my god! There's just enough space for the road, barely even. Yes! Whoa! Are you ready to ride the most crazy road we've ever seen? Yes, I oh. am ready. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. 
Oh my god. <laughs> okay, got a few hairpins now. A few so hairpins. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Yes. <laughs> I think this is the best road we have ever taken so far. Okay, another hairpin. Oh, oh. Okay, it's okay. It's okay? Yeah. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Just about. Oh my god, just oh. about, hey? And there's <gasps> trucks coming up here as well. Wow. Hoppa. Okay. It's okay. Okay, yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, we just hit like a traffic jam on the gorge. <sighs> Crazy. We just hit 4,000 miles on our trip. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Salam. Salam. Sava. Yes. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, uh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh! <laughs> Diesel. <laughs> so, in this place here, they do a tagine for 40 dirham. It's like 4 euro here. And we just had a goat's cheese omelette as well, which was like 3 euro. Mm, look at the sizzling vegetables. Yum. This is a nice spot. <laughs> cool. Look at that, hey? That's really cool here. It's very cool. Look at the mountains behind. Wow. Good morning, sun. So this road that we're on right now, coming up and through the mountains, um, is part of a very, very historic trade route from the Sahara and Sub-Saharan Africa through to Marrakesh and then further on to the coast. You can imagine for the past like thousand, maybe even more years, people with their camel trains have been traveling through here from the Sahara up, up into the Atlas Mountains and stopping off where we're going to stop off today. Really pretty mountains in front. Yeah. just having the cheapest meal on our trip so far yet it's 80 cents and it's egg and bread and I got because it's so cheap as well a Moroccan salad bon appetit okay we're finally coming in close to Marrakesh a lot of stuff going on wow look at that almost like already a Medina happening just there and a lot of uh, terracotta over there a lot of tagines for sale <laughs> oh look I think that's the old town right there ah yeah it is it is the old town right there 
Wow, so we really drove quite close into the centre. I didn't realise we were that close in. It's so busy here, full of everything. Markets, people, cars. Oh. It's just madness. Uh-huh, yeah, you're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> the mom from Moad and Ahmed is so so amazing. She gave us some sweets for the road. She's a professional sweet maker and have a look at that. Check that out. Doesn't look like the people are waiting for the cars. <laughs> but just going for a day going for it so now we're just going to head out of the city say goodbye to marrakesh goodbye marrakesh and say hello to the atlas mountains so here is the town of Imlil we're just coming up to it and behind us up ahead just up there that little peak bit that you can see that is Mount Tubkal Tubkal up there ahead is 4167 meters so that is a pretty tall mountain There you go, the tallest mountain in North Africa. We've come across what I think is a landslide because they're clearing the whole thing and they've cut it all away. So I'm pretty sure this was all, this all slid at some point recently. Yeah, I guess the whole cliff just kind of fell away into the valley. Crazy. Yeah. Wow. We're just stopping for a break here. A little water break, a little snack break in the middle of the mountains. Take a look. Nice views for the break. Oh, look at this view. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Wow, we got such a massive view in, in front. That's oh insane. Wow, what an absolutely crazy view. <gasps> wow, that's absolutely an epic view. Yeah, and we've got some epic switchbacks coming, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, it says turn left at the alley, it says. Oh yeah. How about? <laughs> okay. And now it says, ah, it says right in here. No way. Hold on a second. Hmm. Just gonna do a little turn around. Just gonna go around here. Okay. All good. To the left. Yeah. Sort of says down here, no? Yeah, it does says down there, yeah. Okay, I think that's okay. Yep, Riyadh Bin Yada, there it is. Ah, oh, perfect. Look at that, we drove right up to it. Nice. Good evening, guys. Look what we have here. <laughs> we already went for a swim when we arrived straight away. Today is a really exciting day because we're going on a road trip with our best friends. <laughs> Hello. You're a little crazy cat, hey? <laughs> hey, want to 
a lift? We we'll see you soon, yeah? We'll see you. Yes. Shokran. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this. The legend is true. There are goats in trees. Like I can't believe that, really. Look at this. Let's go. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Hello. <laughs> How cool is that? That's crazy. Look at these goats. Glenn and Anya still troopers following us behind, doing amazingly well, carrying a whole load of water and yes. our food. And uh, yeah, they are loving the landscapes and they're just loving it. So that's awesome. Yes. I don't know how we will survive the day because the temperature just climbed in the last 10 minutes by 5 degrees so it was 30 degrees just over there and now it's on 36 yeah we're going to be hitting some very high temperatures and uh, that might be the end of the day for us there I mean I don't know if it gets really really much hotter I think we'll have to just give up you wouldn't believe it but 41 degrees the bike is registering 41 degrees when i lift my visor up it's like when you open the door of the oven so it's by far the hottest day on the road so far it's unbelievable it's really 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 hot we've made our way into a little date palm forest area but now we've got to see how far we can go the car's gonna go first and then I'll follow. Yeah, hold on a second. Ugh, wait, wait, wait. Let me just uh, get past these rocks. Yeah, still, I'm still upright. One second. Just gonna get out of these rocks. Wow. A little bit of sand. So I just gotta take it super easy and try not to fall off. There he is! He made it! So we found an awesome place here. Have a look at this. Look at that. Look here, there's a nice, beautiful group of camels on the edge of the road. <laughs> but they just spotted us and they're like, no guys, I'm turning around. 
Oh, there's one more. Oh, hello, guys. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, they were a little wary of us. And they've walked off a little bit, but look at them. Oh, I love them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Camel party! Look at this one there! It's <laughs> so our aircon! Yeah, homemade aircon! Homemade aircon! <laughs> That's a big, big landscape! Wow! How rocky everything is and you can see like no no trees no bushes nothing can grow here really <laughs> no, out there yes. is just red rock wow <laughs> and i just can't believe it and i can't believe it <laughs> just amazed at the color of the mountains and the different layers of sediment like the lighter kind of orange and then the sort of darker reds Wow, look at this all here. Wow. I can just see grey ahead. Wow, yes. Can't see anything. Whoa. Wow. Cool. Okay, awesome. It's okay? Yep. Oh, going over! Going over! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I couldn't stop it, it was too hard. <laughs> Ooh, nearly, it. nearly held it, it's just too heavy. I was really trying to hold it. Was it. Just, um, it was just that this here was on a slope. Yeah. yeah. If it was a little bit flatter, you would have been fine. Yeah. Just having a tomato. <laughs> nice tomato. <laughs> tomato with a view. Here? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Not bad. Welcome to paradise. <laughs> oh yes, I think I can see up ahead some blue. It's very, very hazy and dusty still, but up ahead that is definitely the ocean. For the first time in like 30 days. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it just feels like a new chapter of the journey, you know? <laughs> yeah, it feels nice. I feel like, you know, it's the end of our internal Moroccan exploration and the start of our coastal ride down to Dakar. This is the first part of it. This is it. We've hit the coast again. That's amazing. There we go. There's a nice place to stop for lunch. <laughs> nice. Oh yes. Feel the sea breeze. Amazing. Woo! Our little kitchen here. Yes. Our kitchenette. You don't need more than that, hey? Uh, sometimes a little oven would be nice, yes. <laughs> 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 Laughing cow cheese and some baguettes. The amount of baguettes we've had on this trip, hey? Yeah. We've just come off of the road and uh, we're heading on this little dirt track which is supposed to take us to form Asaka. And we're not really sure what's there, so let's go check it out. Good evening, guys. <laughs> we made it happy and alive <laughs> to our spot here on the beach. <laughs> 
Yeah, have a look at how close we are to the ocean. Look at that! Literally right in front of the ocean. It wasn't super easy to find this spot here, but I'm really glad that we managed to end up here. <laughs> Goodbye Atlantic Ocean! It's a nice and cool morning. It's like 19 degrees, it's unbelievable. I'm just gonna stand up a little bit. Oh good. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Gotta get away from that. What a beautiful way to start the day. Look at this landscape. Some sheep this morning on the road and some goats. Hello, guys. Good morning. The car didn't give me too much space. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's the guardian dog for the herd. Oh my god! Whoa! Look at this vast open landscape in front. Four thousand nine hundred and ninety nine point nine five thousand. Bonjour, hello. Bonjour, hello. Hey, uh, I'm petit peu. I'm ready for destination. Continuing south towards Layoun. Layoun. Yes, 195 miles. <laughs> oh, merci. It is super, super windy here. I mean, I don't know if you can see the angle of the bike at the moment, but this wind is just smashing us from this side as the wind blows in from the coast. Wow. I think this is one of the strongest winds we've ever encountered. This is like, it's like nearly undrivable. I'm not even going fast. I'm going like just over 50 miles an hour. Oh my God. What a spot, hey? <laughs> Whoa. So now we're heading for the Gendarmerie Royale, the police station, and if they're nice enough, they will let us camp. Gendarmerie Royale. Oh wait, c'est la place, it's the place. Awesome. Well, we just went inside, spoke to the guy inside, and he uh, pointed out that place just behind the police station and said, Yep, just over by this red building. If you head over there and pitch up the tent, or this red building right here, he said it's no problem. Look over here. 
Look at this. There's like a whole beach here, tons of kids playing. Here's our little cab with Bumblebee and here is the Atlantic Ocean. What's that? Somebody just said hi. Are, they, are the oh, police saying hi? Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe stop here. Or do they want to say something to us? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> ah! That is so funny. We were just like stopped by the police. But he literally came up to us and he was like, you, are, you guys are on TikTok, no? And we were like, yeah, we, we have a TikTok. And he was like, oh, I love your TikTok. You're famous here. Oh, I just wanted to come and meet you. And he shook our hand. He gave us a hug. He was like, oh, you're very welcome. I'm at your service here. And this was the police. That's so cool. Like, I thought we were being stopped because we, I did some sort of traffic violation or something. But no, he just wanted to say he was a big fan. Take a picture together. That's beautiful. Ah, oh, we love you. <laughs> Look at the sand here on the side of the road. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Look <laughs> at that. I mean, we have massive sand dunes just Whoa. <laughs> next to us. Oh my God. We literally just left the city and immediately it's like, oh, welcome to the desert. Oh my God. This bit is crazy. Look at this. Wow. We're 90 degrees from the coast at the moment, facing the coast. So the sand is just being blown across. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's absolutely insane. Whoa. Whoa, that is some really strong wind now. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm really having to lean against this now. Oh my god. It's really out of this world. I mean, look how big the sand dunes are. <laughs> They've already taken over half of our lane. Oh my god. And then the wind is hitting us like 90 degrees. Bam! Wow. Insane. <laughs> what a ride. It's crazy to think that that sand is heading that direction. And in that direction, there is the Sahara Desert, just the whole of the Sahara Desert. I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands of miles of of desert lies that way of us which is to me is just absolutely insane we're just on this narrow strip of road between the vastness of the ocean and the vastness of the sahara that's just crazy we're just poodling along making our way crossing the whole of it unbelievable So we stopped for a little lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep my helmet on actually <laughs> because it's so windy. I would just take it off quickly to eat, but otherwise. So we try to hide here a little bit behind Bumblebee. Oh no, I just dropped all the cream cheese. We've got Missimmon bread and I love this bread. Look, look, look. Yes. <laughs> so uh, we've got that, we've got our Red Bulls. It's a beautiful lunch hiding behind the bike. It's beautiful. So we just turned off the Route Nationale and we are just about to start heading down the spit towards Dakhla. Looking on the map it looks like this road is heading across to the spit and then it's about 20 miles down to Dakhla. But it looks like such a thin bit of land that's coming out. It looks super interesting on the map so I can't wait to see it. It looks so cool because this is like the kite surf paradise here. Here are probably like about 20 kites out there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Everyone is having fun. Yeah, it looks really cool. It looks like a really cool place for kite surfing. 
Camping ici, Tarvata. Oui. C'est. C'est. Ok, Shukran, Shukran. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive. Everything's pitched up here, as you can see. Yeah. Bumblebee, the tent. There's some horses over there. Yeah. Which is quite cool. No, oh, look. Oh. First, first you have the police control out of town and now you've got the camel control. <laughs> Do you have your passport ready? Yeah, passports, duan vehicle documents. There you go, guys. Hi, guys. It's okay? It's okay. Let us pass. Thank you, guys. Okay, see you later. Whoa, look at this in front. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Here we go. Look, we can finally see our destination, Dakar. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. 1,430 kilometers to go. We've just hit the road going south. And from here, there are no more major cities of Morocco. And you can see already that the road is way less developed than it was just before the roundabout. This is pretty much just a straight shot to the border now. Emerging from the vast nothingness, a sky blue painted cafe, sitting alone, ready to welcome weary travelers in with a cup of hot mint tea. Our stop for the night. Oh yes. Oh, shukran. Shukran. <laughs> shukran. <laughs> so the guys in the cafe said it was fine for us to pitch our tent at the front of their place and uh, we've got this little wall for protection because look at this when we head around the wall. Whoa! So the day is finally here after more than five weeks here in Morocco. Our Moroccan adventure is coming to an end and our Mauritanian adventure is just about to begin. So I'm super excited to cross over the border and check out a whole new country. It's amazing. Last day in Morocco. Is it time to hit the road? <laughs> no, we have to go back. <laughs> <laughs> Do everything again. Oy. Bye bye, guys. Oh, yes, found the tarmac. Yeah, those guys were super nice at the cafe. I mean, when we arrived and they gave us a tea. Uh, well, we asked them for a tea and then when we wanted to pay them for the tea, they were like, no, 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 the tea's for you. Hello. <gasps> wow. 
Oh, never gets old, hey? <laughs> I can see the border right there. Yes. Okay, this might be the point for us to turn off the cameras. Yep. Like this one. Yeah? And there. Okay, stop. Okay, so we've just gotten outside of the Moroccan side of the border. Uh, but I'll tell you more about the process in a minute because we're just crossing no man's land at the moment. This is a small area of land between Morocco and Mauritania. It looks like this might be coming up to the border. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to turn off the camera again and then we'll see how we get on. Oh, sorry, 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 my love. I didn't see anything about that. I didn't see anything about that, sorry. <laughs> okay, we're gonna just quickly pick this up. Okay, we're in Mauritania. Okay. Yay. We are here. We have just entered Mauritania. Whee! We are inside Mauritania. We passed by all the controls, passed by everything, and we are here on our way to Nouadhibou. And it feels amazing to have got past that process because that was a bit of a crazy process on the Mauritanian side. Oh my God. Okay, so another checkpoint in as many minutes and uh, we had to give again a paper copy of the passport to him and then they were really insistent on knowing exactly where we were staying tonight good evening guys we arrived happy and alive at our place here in Nuadibu. <laughs> so this was our room and we head outside look at this view Yes, slide in the sand! just got the insurance for our bike here in Nuadibu and uh, they've written Suzuko. I say, what is Suzuko? He goes, mm, no, no, it doesn't matter. Don't worry. It's fine. Mm, is it fine? <laughs> we'll see how Suzuko goes for our trip here in Mauritania. Okay, we're heading on our way out of Nuadibu and a lot of people have woken up, it looks like, because it is massively busier than what it was when we came in look at this sea of old cars oh my goodness look how windy and sandy it is out here this is a pretty hostile environment to drive in i must admit and look sand blowing over the road we've got a strong wind coming from the coast Oh my god, it's just mental! Yeah, it's super uncomfortable. It's very not nice at all. <laughs> so we've had to stop to put water on ourselves because it's about 38 degrees here now as we've come inland and it is super, super, super hot. And the wind is so hot. So we're gonna put a jug of water over us, cool down a bit. Looks like a bit of sand in the road coming up. So we're gonna take it quite easy here. I don't think it's very deep. Let no, no, just go through it. Uh-huh. Yeah, just go, go through it. Yeah, I am. I'm just uh, taking it nice and easy. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. 
<laughs> yeah, this highway never gives up, hey? Okay, it looks like we are coming in to our destination for today, Shami. And the temperature nice. has reached 40 degrees at the moment. So it is not a cool day in Shami at the moment. Look, should, we should we check out this hotel? Oh yes. <laughs> What's your name? Normally, normally. Yes. Uh -huh. It's Peter Oliver Henri Adolson Guy Quadri. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, look at this! <sighs> yeah, yeah. I can feel it, it's working! <laughs> awesome! So I think we have our room for the night. It's not very extravagant, but it has air conditioning and it will do. Okay, so we put all of our money into fuel, which will hopefully give us just enough miles to get to where we're trying to go. But look at the entrance to this petrol station. It's just pure, pure sand, eh? Pure sand. Nice and easy. Nice and hello. Nice and easy. Well, we definitely hit a lot of uh, a bit of bad road here. Wow. Yeah. We've got sand, we've got potholes. The full program. Exactly. Exactly. This is the real desert right now. Look at this. You can just see sand dune after sand dune after sand dune. Sand on the road, sand covering your whole house. <laughs> sand everywhere. The real, real sandy, sandy desert. Look at that. Wow. It's really crazy. Yeah, it looks magical. Yeah, yeah. It looks really, really, really magical. But it's such a harsh place to live. Yeah, yeah, I mean hats off to all of, we see the goat herders, we see the camel herders and different shacks and buildings along the road occasionally and I mean these guys, they are doing pretty well to live out here, I tell you that. As long as the dunes aren't on the road, then I'm happy to look at them. <laughs> 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 oh, that's nice and fresh! It's almost cold, eh? There we go. Almost cold. Nice. Nice. Do you want me to do your back? Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Woo! 
Salam. Bonjour. Salam. <laughs> Salam. English and German. English? English, Anglais, English Allemagne. Okay. Yes. 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 Deutsch. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yes. 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 which is not covered in sand and this means that we are getting very close to the capital Nouakchott <laughs> If you love me then you have to smell it <laughs> This is our tent That's pretty cozy, no? Today we are going to be heading for another border. So let me show you where we're heading today. So we are here in Nouakchott, the capital of Mauritania. And today we are going to be making our way further down Mauritania to reach the border of Senegal at the Senegal River, but not the Rosso border. This little border down here. called Diama. I think the ocean front is just in front, so we'll just uh cut, go to the end of this road and then we'll just have a little look. Look at all these. Up oh, up oh, up oh, up oh, up oh, oh, you okay? You okay? No. No. C'est possible. Uh I'm I'm T Ad. Merci. 3 2 1 go. Ah, merci. Parfait, merci. Chocolat. <laughs> Whoa, look at this crazy place. Oh my god. And look, this boat is full of water, and all these people are trying to bring it in. Whoa. Wow, look how much bird life here is already. Wow. Yeah, we've just taken the turn off from the main road and uh, we're starting the piste or the dirt road section that's going to head towards this national park and the border to Senegal. Oh, oh my god. Our first wildlife warthogs in front. Oh, little warthog family. The mom with the two kids. Oh, we just saw the first warthogs. Yay! That's so so cool. This is a safari now. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, some more warthogs ahead. Look, 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 water, water, water. Hello. 
Whoa, look at him go. <laughs> this, wow. this is like one of the most incredible places I've ever been. Look at this guy. Yes. Whoa, donkeys and war dogs together. Look at that, hey. Wow. Look at all these donkeys. So we hit some sand and now the bike is on the ground. <laughs> oh man. We have just left Mauritania and we're now in the no man's land in between. Whoa, look at this. Wow, incredible. That's crazy here. Look at this. Absolutely incredible. All this water coming yep. through. Wow, what a river, hey? What wow. a river. Here it is. Barrage de Diama, the border of Diama. And we have officially entered Senegal. Woo! Woo! Welcome to Senegal! <laughs> nice! Nice! After crossing the Fade Herb Bridge, which was built in 1897 by the way, we found ourselves at the heart of St. Louis, the Old Town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the best preserved examples of colonial French architecture in all of West Africa. Starting our day in the middle of the desert, we couldn't quite believe the abundance of colours, sounds and smells. the sand so I have to come round the building here and then down and this is where <laughs> this is where the sand gets a little bit deep <laughs> so here is all the all the trucks waiting to receive the fish and this place does not smell too good. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my oh. god. <coughs> oh my god, this is a fishy area. <coughs> oh. <coughs> yep. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many goats here are. <laughs> Seriously, St. Louis is like the town of goats. Look at this. That's absolutely incredible. Really. Wow. Here are so many goats, guys. Really, so, so many. Okay, wait a second. I think he saw me filming. Salut. Bonjour, ça va? Bonjour, ça va? Uh? Comment? Prenez des images, non? Photo. Photo? Oh! Just, just la vidéo. C'est ça. Okay. Merci. Merci. Bonjour. And there is some flamingos. Nice. Whoa. I have to stop for a second. Ah. 
<laughs> oh my god guys hold on a minute let me get to the side of the road whoa this is a huge group of vultures wow i never saw something like it in my life oh my please god. don't attack me guys <laughs> And look, they're fight. They're like fighting over everything. Look at them. Yeah, what is there? I don't know. A dead something. I can smell it. Wow. <laughs> the wind is cooling us down a little bit. The temperature at the moment is 33 degrees. So it's really, really nice ride here. I really enjoy it. It's not too much further. The baobabs are up ahead. Here we are. Oh my god, look at this. Here he is! Look at the size of this tree! Look at the size of this tree! I'm just going to do a little walk around. Whoa! Oh, it's such an impressive tree. And then there's another one over there. So it's like two massive ones grouped together here. I think this is a good place to stop for lunch, eh? Hey? Awesome! Awesome! <laughs> In the city, <laughs> city of Dakar. <laughs> In the city, city Dakar. Wow, look ahead. Ah, there it is. <laughs> it's a pretty big statue, isn't it? It's a pretty big monument. So this monument is really special because it's the tallest monument here in Africa. It's about 50 meters tall. African Renaissance Monument. This is it. Lac Rose. <laughs> Apparently, this is a pink lake. The name of the lake, Lac Rose. Yeah, exactly. So it's supposed to be pink. <laughs> Let's see as we get a bit closer if it actually is pink. You can start to see the pink colour, hey? Oh, yes. Wow, oh, look here. You can start here already, yep. Oh, yeah. Look at that at the edge. Yeah. Okay, we're just okay. circling around. <laughs> we're just circling around. Yes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's the way. Look at all these guys. Wow. Whoa, look at this big one. Incredible. Whoa. That looks a little bit too crazy. <laughs> yeah, I might need a push, but at the moment it's okay. Let's see how I get on. <laughs> yeah, the road to this place, not too amazing as you can see. <laughs> Oh, got a bit of wheel spin.
<laughs> Be careful doggies Here we are, this is the place What have you got for us there? <laughs> got some baguette? Got some baguette, some lunch, some dinner, some breakfast <laughs> There we go, baguette is good for everything hey? Don't show this to a French person. Mm. Well, here we are in Bandia Reserve, and you can already see this huge baobab tree up there in between all the other trees. You see these giant baobabs just popping out through the trees. Look, there's one. Nice. Ooh. Hey, be careful, water could might cross the road here. <laughs> Got a truck to enter the park, and we're with our guide Salut. Salut yeah. <laughs> we Hi are guys. about to jump into the safari. slept very well the last two days because it's too hot and mosquitoes and again it's just too hot I had a dream that we arrived already in some countries which are a little bit colder <laughs> <laughs> and then when I woke up and saw that we are still here and I have still another really hot day ahead I was a little bit sad <laughs> Look at the size of this baobab. <laughs> We've got to stop and see this. Wow. That's nice. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That is cool. That Pretty is cool. a big tree. <laughs> this is the biggest baobab in Senegal. Whoa. It's measuring 32 meters of circumference and it's all of 850 years. Look at this. This guy's going inside the tree. Look at the size of this tree. Oh, Lovey's going inside. Oh my god. Whoa. Inside the biggest tree in Senegal, the biggest bomb. Yes, look here. Ah, uh, yep. These are the little salt pools. Yes. The area doesn't look too impressive from the ground, but when you fly the drone, then it's super impressive.
and this marks our furthest south that we are going to be going in Africa on this trip. This is it. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, so let's turn around and head north then, shall we? Exactly. Let's go back to Dakar. to the south side of the Cape Verde Peninsula, right at the bottom here, to the container port. Yes, today is the day, the final ride here in Africa with Bumblebee. Dead and happy at the same time. <laughs> we thought we would give Bumblebee a nice wash and give that chain a really good oil so that Bumblebee can be ready for the next leg in South America. Whee! That's it, Bumblebee is in the container, ready to go, and we can make our way out of here. That's it from us today, and that's it from season two. We hope to see you from season three on in South America. And also, if you like the video, please subscribe to our channel, share the video with your friends and family, um, comments below. Don't forget to like. <laughs> we will see you next time. Thank you.